Hey, yo, we're back, guys. Episode 6. I already said this. <laughs> and yeah, I said a lot, dude. But I forgot to fucking start the recording. So, yeah, we came here, though. We got some lamp oil. And I said something like, Dude, we used all the fucking lamp oil on there with the, the thing in the water. Shit like that. And uh, we found a diary, so I guess maybe we should try to... This, Revelation. So we gotta listen to this again. I think it was this. Let me see. Yeah, it's this one. So I gotta read it this time though. 2nd of July, 1839. I received a letter today from the Algerian governor's office. Disclosing the fate of Herbert's expedition, about a week after my departure, Abdullah, one of the men traveling with us, returned from the desert. He was badly injured, as if maimed by a, a lion. The man rambled deliriously about the expedition being attacked by something horrible. The French quickly dispatched a search party to look for the expedition. After searching for days, they found the camp abandoned without any trace of Herbert or his men. Tomorrow I'll retrieve the things they recovered from Herbert's tent at the customs house. I don't know what to make of it, but I'm worried for him. Right, that's the one. This is from earlier. Right, okay, we're up to date. Except one thing, though, we tried to open this door, but it, it's, um, it's, there's a broken lock on it. And uh, then we did this. The lock is broken. Find another way to open the closet door in the guest room. Right, so that's about it. Next time... Hit the fucking record button, okay? Do that shit, yo. Right, let's see. Um, it's good to blame someone else, even though the, I'm the only one in the room. But, hey. Whatever works, right? Um, it's got a fun just to throw. Oh, crowbar. Nice. This game, though, it's surprisingly. It's, it's. It's so great. So fucking awesome. Tool allowing great leverage. <laughs> Third of July, 1839. Today I picked up Herbert's things at the customs house. I dug through the trove of documents he had carried and found a log detailing the expedition. A log. The nature of this text ranged from quick notes to colorful accounts of transpired events. I skimmed the pages trying to figure out what might have happened. Yeah. May 17th, the day I was trapped inside the orb chamber, Herbert dryly states, Recovered Daniel after one hour of entrapment. This confused me greatly. I was suffocating within minutes. How could I have lasted an hour? I continued reading the peculiar text. Herbert states his facts without judgment or passion, but suddenly I could read frustration into his text. He pushed his men to investigate the underground tomb, an effort which seems to have strained the minds of his men. Madness spread through the ranks, and Herbert had to take some extreme measures to continue. He finally visits the chamber himself, where he retrieves the orb to the surface. His account confuses me greatly. If he has the orb, what are those pieces in my drawing room? Oh yeah. I'm still fucking confused about that fucking urn or whatever that was in the desk downstairs in the laboratory though. I couldn't pick it up or anything. I uh... uh... Yeah. Sure. 
Oh, wow. What? Still having nightmares, I see. Yes. I can't shake them. They come every night. We'll put a stop to them. You'll see. Why is the picture gone though? What is... <clears throat> That's wait, yeah. The key. Please, let it be here. An important key is hidden in the guest room. Alright, a key. We need a key. Crowbar is fucking gone. We still have this, the hollow needle that we used to used to um, open that other door with. Lock pick. Pick lock. Oh, thank God, there it is. I guess it is a good place to hide it then. What is it though? That's not the key. It is the key. Machine room key. Huh. Oh, motherfucker. Yeah. Fourth of July, 1839. It's done. The orb is assembled. I was awakened by an exhausting nightmare. Shaking and sweating, I retired to the drawing room with a cup of tea. The relic pieces tea. lay spread across the table as I'd left them. But somehow, I knew how it was supposed to be. I fetched the tar, which I had prepared to fix the pieces together, and without fault, I joined them, producing the orb I remembered so clearly. Yeah. The tar proved unnecessary. It was pushed out from the joining pieces as they merged on their own, with no adhesive. The right. ancient stone relic now rests on my table. Its immaculate surface and perfect shape could have been molded by a factory. This is all too strange. Okay. So we got it back together without anything. Just merged back together. Right. Shouldn't have done that. What the fuck is that? What is that? What is that, dude? Did he, he went through he he went through the door, right? Oh what the fuck was that though? Went through, there's no door here. Not my fucking plan. Not my fucking plan. Doing a crouchy thing. 
You better hide. You don't have anything to defend yourself with. Even though we found a saw blade and shit downstairs and we could have made a fucking great weapon. I'm pretty fucking sure we could. Yes, we fucking could. So we have to go back in there. Right? There's no other way to go. Nisha, huh? The dark descent. Descending into darkness. I don't know. He flipped through the Book of Monarchs looking for kings and counted. Nine different kings from all over Europe had been depicted with an orb resting in their hands. Nine different kings? <clears throat> Should I, uh, uh, like people, humans with brains, have they already figured out what's going on? He panted heavily, trying his best to keep himself from screaming. The medicine cabinet had been overturned and lay collapsed on the floor. He reached through the broken glass door and grabbed all the sedatives he could find. Dude. Why did I go to the archives though? I don't know if I have anything to do here. The machine room, dude. I don't think the machine room is here. Right. Okay. Go and loot some shit though, maybe. Biblia. Hey Jesus! Letter regarding the regarding the discovery of an orb to my most trusted student and friend Johan Weyer. The most remarkable thing happened as I was traveling through the Prussian woods this summer. I finally found one of those orbs. I have been looking for the last twenty odd years. It went the years. It is as inexplicable as the Heliodromus described it in the Hortus Conclusus. It was as it was told about an underground Mithrak Mithrak temple crowned with the unearthly artifact. The orb was 
big enough to fill my cupped hands. And the texture was smooth and jagged. It's color washed while rich. Contrast is not enough to describe its nature. It was an impossibility. An artificial paradox captured within stone. I was staying in a nearby village called Allstadt, investigating one of the antiquated trails. When I finally found the cavern, I went inside and suddenly I could verify the truth of this enigmatic artifacts. <clears throat> they were real. As you can understand, this is the most important discovery of my life, but it has also became, become my greatest faith. As I entered the underground chamber, I could feel that I was trespassing. Because of my curiosity, I did my best to fight these instincts and patch the orb from its place. I scrambled out of the chamber and into the woods. I could sense something was following me, it bayed loudly as it closed in. The beast, this guardian of the orb, was relentless in its pursuit. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon ravine. I always look for that world when I found like a crack in the mount or something, you know. I made my way to a nearby ravine where I stumbled upon some men fishing in the lake. I tried to warn them as I passed, but fortunately they remained as I continued my escape. When I heard their cry of pain echo through that valley, I felt such a tremendous sense of relief thinking I would be spared. Right. Suddenly a blue shimmering light engulfed me and the colors of the forest were washed away before my eyes. I kept running through the bleak surroundings. The trees had turned charcoal black. The trees had turned charcoal black with leaves of cinder, the ground covered in murky water. I pressed on through the drenched land as the glowing amber gave way to the rising wind and rained on me. I could hear pleading screams in the distance and I joined in as pain and fear overtook me. I fell to the ground gasping for air. This certainly must sound strange but I had been carried miles away across the Alps to a grassy field outside Genoa. The guardian had taken the orb from me, but still until this day I fear its return. The guardian had taken the orb. The guardian. Sometimes I lay awake at night listening for the howling cry I heard in the forest. It has been nearly a decade since that day and I still haven't been able to write about it, about the incident. The last time we spoke, you told me about your interest and ongoing research into the mythic orbs, and I realized I owed you the truth about my visit to Ulster. <coughs> your friend and mentor, Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Heinrich Cornelius Agrippa. Heinrich, Heinrich, Heinrich. Mentor and friend. Right. Cool. Okay. Okay. Is that a fucking squirrel or a rabbit? That, that's blood. A fucking saw on the table. Right. And a hammer and a shovel. Way better. 
Chambers of the Human Skull. The Chambers of the Human Skull. <clears throat> nice. Someone's been doing some messy fucking work in this place. Oh shit. Understanding balance, milestones of human hum anatomy, anatomy, the jaw of a canine, dude. That's a strong jaw. Oh, it was a fucking dog. Is it a Doberman? Poor oh, fucking dog, though. A dog. So is that one of your friends barking? Why would I uh... Do that? I don't know. I did it though. Let's see what you have to offer. sharpen the saw but I can sense it it's definitely there the, the dog was that the dog the canine spine I don't know I, I think I just turned around and then I thought it was a chapter or something called that You know what? Sometimes it's pretty hard to play games when you're a dog lover. It's, um, it is what it is, I guess. But if you want to play horror games, yeah. What's up, Doc? Right. Is there something I should do? Well, did I read this? I did, right? No, I didn't. <clears throat> Animal experiment. Yeah. Fuck that shit, dude. Canis Lupus Familiaris, 1658, 12th of April. After a short study, it is clear that the agitation found among humans can be found in the dog. Fear and pain induce stress, which seems to trigger an endogenous response. Causing the animal to burst with energy. I believe that the catalyst is produced in the brain. It is difficult to determine exactly where and what it is, but I can sense it. It reeks of cosmic genesis. There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the... There is an inherent problem in harvesting this energy since the creature is bound to die from the exercise. I must refine this process to, of torture to enable any real work to be done. More experiments must be performed, but it seems that only human beings are able to produce the amount necessary. It might be their ability to appreciate the severity of the process that ultimately augments their experience of terror. Moving on. This way. Fuck you.
I don't know if that's... Gotta keep warm, you know. Never mind what you saw that. Right? It's just a rock. Rocks are hard. That wasn't really hard. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Dude, those dogs. That's that's not a. That sound is fucking. Remains of an experiment, maybe? Stop doing that, dude. You sick son of a gun. That's a shit ton. Pardon me, gentlemen. Or whatever you were. Hello. What are we missing here? Are we missing anything? Should I know who this is? Who this is? What is this? An apple? Or... Yeah. <laughs> Rotten apple. Okay. Anatomy front frontiers. Does that mean like people that were working with it? Uh, uh, that knew more than others? Or am I stupid as fuck? January 9th, 1658. Further disappointment. The... Antiquarian's latest findings yielded nothing. I'm still unable to grasp the inner workings of life and its relation to the power I sense within it. I shall pursue more books on the subject, but if I suspect it will be in vain. No, but I suspect it will be in vain. Yeah, yeah, okay. Since no research has been made in my particular interest, I must attempt to fill that void myself. Clearly humans emanate more of the energy I see, but I hope animals will suffice. Hope animals will suffice as they would prove less of a hassle to acquire. How can you do shit like this? It's the sick people that gives us knowledge. The fucked up sick people, dude. The fucking carves knives and shit into everything to see what's inside. Because we have to understand it, you know. Told me. We have to understand everything. Okay. Now what? Maybe end the episode? <laughs> Alright. I think we're ending it alright. 30 minutes again, so... Again, thank you for being out. Thank you for watching. Thank you if you liked. Welcome if you subscribe. It means more than you fucking think it does. Because it's fucking, it's awesome when people uh, interact with your content and shit. It's, it's great. It's like, it's so fun. Uh, well, again, bye bye. Have a great one, right? Peace.